Hello friends, this video on quadratic equations part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. What we will study? We will study introduction, quadratic equations, solution of quadratic equation by factorization, solution of a quadratic equation by completing the square, nature of roots and summary. First, what is quadratic equation? Quadratic equation is nothing but a equation in the form of ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. This form of equation is called quadratic equation in variable x. Why? Because you have used variable x. x is the variable and a, b and c are real numbers. They are constants and a should not be equal to 0. Let me repeat once again. Quadratic equation in the variable x is nothing but equation of the form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 where a, b, c are real number and a should not be equal to 0 because if a is equal to 0 this component is gone right then the equation will be of, a, of form bx plus c but the highest power if you see of in that case c if a is 0 then the equation will be bx plus c and in this the highest power is 1 so it is no longer quadratic equation. This is a linear equation. Quadratic equation as we have learned that a equation where the highest power is 2. Here if you see the highest power of x is 2. Thus quadratic equation of the variable x is nothing but equation of the form ax square plus bx plus c where a, b, c are real numbers and a should not be equal to 0. Let me take some example. For example 3x square plus 2x plus 5 is equal to 0. This is example of quadratic equation. Why? Because this is of the form ax square plus bx plus c where a is equal to 3, b is equal to 2 and c is equal to 5 and where a is not equal to 0 obviously. If I say 2x square plus 5 or 2x square plus 3 is equal to 0, this is also quadratic equation because this is a, a is 2, b is 0 and c is 3. But if I make a is equal to 0, for example, if I say 2x plus 3 is equal to 0, because here a is 0, then this is not a quadratic equation because the rule says that a should not be equal to 0. If both b and c are 0, that is also okay. For example, if I say x square is equal to 4, this is also, or x square is equal to 0, this is also a quadratic equation. Why? Because here a component is not 0, a is 1. Correct? So quadratic equation is nothing but a form of equation of the form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 where a should not be equal to 0 and all a, b and c are real numbers. They are constant. Now, now we have understood what is quadratic equation. Before going further, let's try to understand why do we really need to read quadratic equation. If you don't learn quadratic equation, what will happen? Is it mandatory to learn quadratic equation? Let's do that. If you see, there is a scenario where you have been told that there is a rectangular lawn. I mean, normal scenario. You, you have a rectangular lawn near your house and you are told that the length is twice the breadth. If the breadth is x, let's suppose, the length is twice the breadth, that is 2x. And you have been told that the area is constant. Let's suppose the area is 32. 32 meter square and now you are asked to find the length and breadth. very very common scenario eh? when you have a lawn nearby and you have been told that the area of the lawn is x some some unit 32 meter square and you have been told that length and breadth has some relationship you have to find the length and breadth how will you do we can do using quadratic equation for example here you say area is nothing but area of lawn is nothing but length into breadth is nothing but L is equal to my 2x and breadth is equal to x that is 2x square and we are also telling that area is 32 meter square so we can say that 2x square is equal to 32 meter square or we can say that x square is equal to 16 if you see that this is nothing but x square minus 16 is equal to 0 this is a quadratic equation where a is 1 b is 0 and c is minus 16 Alright, and now we can solve this. I'll explain you how to solve this in the next slides. 
but just try to understand this is one real scenario where you may need quadratic equations the second scenario is the projectile if you see in projectile let's suppose you are throwing a ball from here to here let me repeat once again you are throwing a ball from here to here now from here you have thrown the ball to this point you want to find how much distance it's covered you want to find the distance s let's suppose the distance is s and you want to find the distance s covered how to find then you'll use the physics formula in physics the formula is s is equal to ut plus half a d square if you don't understand the formula leave it because you will learn this in the higher classes just understand this is a formula with which you can find a distance where u is constant that is the initial velocity and acceleration a is also constant that is acceleration so let's suppose u was uh, 5 and a was 6 let's suppose this is u and this is a this is given so you can say that this is nothing but 5t plus half into 6t square cancel this is 3 that is nothing but 5t plus 3t square if you see that this is of the form of quadratic equation correct because we can say that 5t is t plus 3t square this is of form quadratic equation so here also if you want to find the distance we'll use quadratic equation there are various scenarios in our real life where we do use quadratic equation in terms of physics we extensively use quadratic equation in terms of aerodynamics we use quadratic equations a lot of places in terms of finding the areas all the architect use quadratic equation so quadratic equation has varied implementation it is very crucial for us to understand quadratic equation so let's now try to understand or let's try to clear our concept from quadratic equation thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again